Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today that's actually based on a dream that I received from the Lord several months ago. And the title of today's word is, You're Cleaning House. You are cleaning house. And today's scripture reference is Psalm 5110, and it reads, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. So this word is for a very specific group of people. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. It should be confirming something in your spirit um, that the Lord's already spoken to you. And also test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. So this word, it's kind of... Um, can apply to a couple different groups of people. The first group, um, you are actually cleaning your house right now. You might be doing some spring cleaning, you know, some um, decluttering, some reorganization. Um, I know in my apartment here in the Dominican Republic, I've been getting organized. I went out and I, I got like a, a jewelry organizer. Um, because I have a lot of like necklaces and they were just kind of in a pile that was didn't look nice. So I got like a, a necklace stand and I went to the Ikea here and they had like a, a stackable cart that was really like narrow where I could put all my um, toiletries and like a towel because I don't have a lot of storage or counter space in my bedroom and, and in the bathroom in there. So, you know, the Lord's really just been putting it on my heart to do some organizing, you know, also cleaning. I recently mopped the whole floors in my apartment. And, you know, I could hire somebody here in the Dominican Republic, like rel relatively inexpensively to clean my apartment. But it's really such a, you know, small space and it's just me. So it's, you know, I've kind of been enjoying doing those things, which is not like me. <laughs> so I know the Lord's created in me a clean heart because I'm actually enjoying, you know, doing these things now, which in the past I never really enjoyed them. So, you know, I've got my place looking really cute here and it's really clean and it's organized. I've been making my bed and these are things that I never really did before. So for me, um, you know, it's like a literal thing. And I think it's also figuratively. And for another group of you, you know, the Lord's been asking you to um, distance yourself from people who are speaking death into your destiny or who are not encouraging you spiritually or who are, you know, speaking word curses over you, um, you know, accusing you of things that aren't true, just creating toxic drama. And the Lord is just asking you to distance yourself from these people because when you allow people to pull you into circular conversations, um, to toxicity and drama, it's really taking your focus off your father's business and you should be about your father's business right now. You know, you're walking in your divine purpose, you are completely submitted to the Lord. Um, you're really pursuing holiness and righteousness. Um, you've repented of your sin. You've broken out of those sin cycles in your life. And it's really gotten to the point where that's not your lane anymore. Like you just, you know, are not going to allow people to pull you into chaos and drama because we know that that's not coming from the Holy Spirit. That's the enemy. So many of you, the Lord's been asking you to distance yourself from people. And I know I've had to make some really tough decisions recently in my own life. And, you know, especially when it comes to close friends and family, it's like, it's difficult, you know, but the Lord will call you to distance yourself from people who are creating chaos in your life. And, you know, I, like I said, I had to make some tough decisions and I prayed about it and I, I knew I was doing the right thing and I was following the Lord's divine instructions because I know his voice and, you know, um, obviously like I know the Lord's voice, it's my appointment and I, um, I spend a lot of time with him every day so that I can clearly know his voice. But you know, still some of these decisions were really difficult. And um, I asked the Lord to give me a sign, just that I was on the right track and that, you know, I was, that he was 
um, the one who was encouraging me to do these things. And um, I woke up in the morning and I walked out on my balcony and there was a huge rainbow. And, um, you know, that's always been the Lord's way of showing me that he's with me. And this came on like a really specific morning after I had been through a, a tough day the day before. So it was so reassuring and it just made me so happy to know that the Lord is shining his love down on me. He supports me, that I am on the right path. I'm in alignment. And even when some of these things he's calling me to do are tough calls, he's looking out for my best interest. He's looking out for my healing. He's looking out for my peace of mind. And you know, the rainbow, it literally, once I saw it, it lasted like 15 or 20 more seconds and then it was gone. And I was able to get a picture of it and I took a little bit of video, but you know, the Lord is so good. So many of you might be making some tough decisions right now and ask the Lord to give you a sign. You know, he wants to communicate to you. He will give you signs, even when he's probably already given you <laughs> signs and dreams and visions. And But you know, he's not gonna fault you for asking for one more, especially when it involves um, a difficult decision. So again, I'm not sure uh, who this message is for today, but you're cleaning house. And you know, sometimes it's important to do that so that you can have a clean heart and that you can have a right spirit within you. Because if you allow people around you who don't have right spirits within them, it's gonna transfer on you and it's gonna distract you from what the Lord is calling to you to do. And you need to be uh, about your father's business you need to be healing. And when you allow people to continue to um, drain your energy, to pull you into circular conversations, to attack <clears throat> your destiny, you're not really allowing yourself to heal. You know, it's like constantly picking at that scab. So sometimes the Lord will call you to create distance with people and um, we can, we forgive them. We love them from afar, you know, we, but that doesn't mean that we have to endure, um, their chaos and drama. So I'm not sure who this is for today, but you're cleaning house. Some of you literally, <laughs> some of you literally and figuratively. So just know that I'm so thankful for all of you who have subscribed to the channel. Please hit the no notification bell so that you receive these messages as they're put out. I want to thank all of you who've partnered financially with this ministry. I pray over every seed that the Lord will increase it a thousandfold, that he will continue to lead, guide, and direct you into his perfect will for your lives. And again, the purpose of this channel is to glorify God and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So I like to just say that, um, you know, in as many videos as possible because I wouldn't even be doing this if the Lord hadn't called me to start this channel in September. So this is all for him. I've submitted my life 100% to the Lord and I'm doing his work on this earth. And sometimes it's not always easy, but I'm obedient uh, to my father because he's a good father and he knows what's best for us. So again, I'm not sure who this is for. Take it to the Lord for confirmation, test the spirit. And just know that I pray for all of you daily. Please continue to pray for me that the Lord's divine perfect will is done in my life. And just know that I love you all so much for the love of Christ and stay blessed.